Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. This is round 4 out of 5 of the Rome Against World Tournament. In this one of a paired match against Gribble, I have the Roman 313 against his Sassanid Persian 350. So, the terrain is not easy for either side, to be honest. Uh, rough ground, rough ground. Obstacles, I suppose there's a possibility he could try to hide in the obstacles with his archers and such. If he does that, I mean, it really just gives me an open field to play with elsewhere. I'm not extremely concerned with it. Uh, cataphracts, I have sticking close by the two light artillery units because there are elephants about. I do want the cataphracts to fight his cataphracts, so if the elephants get close, hopefully the artillery disrupts them. Maxed out on anything that can shoot. Light foot, auxiliary archers, light horse. Uh, normally I don't go for the 40 point light horse archers, but given that the Sassanid West can get so many mounted archers, I want to be able to shoot back and not get shot to bits. Uh, for infantry, I did not grab the Palatina, although they could actually be somewhat useful against elephants, but instead I got the Auxilia Palatina because they're you know, 24 points cheaper, and they can operate in rough ground. Limitane I have uh, slightly behind the main line to fill the checkerboard in. If necessary, they're horrible, and they're cheap. So, that's it. Uh, whether we move forward or hang back really depends on his army composition. Okay, let's see that force comp and deployment. Very curious if he goes heavy infantry or heavy cavalry, heavy horse archers, there are options. What do we got here? Armored, armored, expert armored, heavies, mass archers, and cataphracts. Doing what? Going for here? Going for here. If he goes for here, I don't care. If he goes for here, then I'll have some work to do. What about the center? Skirmishers, heavies, and archers in the enclosure, which we will ignore. And cavalry, cavalry. Okay. So we're going to spread ourselves pretty thin in the center and ignore these enclosures and try to isolate and kill the cavalry. Our skirmishers. Mast archers. Medium foot. Again, artillery. Cavalry can keep pace. Cataphracts. And veteran Roman cavalry. Okay. Why don't we, yeah, cataphracts can also push over. So we'll keep about five or six units in the center to hold it down. But otherwise we're going to, again, we're not going to assault the enclosures. We'll do everything else we need to do though. Next turn. Okay, looks like we'll have a confrontation in the open here. That's good.
Lovely. These come out here, we can fight if they stay back in the enclosure. There's no sense in pushing them. All right. Next turn. Have we got archery? No big deal. We're falling back, so we're going to have to keep pushing forward here. Also falling back. Okay, it's going to be extremely difficult to make contact in time, I think. <clears throat> to that end, we'll need to push a little bit more aggressively with the light horse to try to force engagement. And we'll need the Illyrians to force his light foot off. And if they want to shoot at the Lumatane, that's fine. They're completely welcome to do so. Okay, do I do something about this? I kind of can't, really. Unfortunately, it just is what it is. So here, block some arrows. Uh, just get past them, really. And this can just stay here for the moment. Yeah, he's forcing a split because he knows I can't attack through here. And if he keeps withdrawing, then it buys time. And then I have to rush to try to actually reach his cavalry to engage in a fight in time. 20 turns left, while all at the same time not getting too spread out for fear of this mass of troops. Next turn. Yeah, that's going to be a little unpleasant. Uh, the only bright side of this situation is that He's unlikely to cause drops with the skirmishers, and then he'll be low on ammo. So I'm going to take a fair number of casualties before contact, but then I at least won't have to worry about too much concentrated firepower, at least in the wings. Get away from that marsh a bit. Let's do that, why not? I 
Great. Problem solved. Okay. And this situation. This is getting too dangerous. Eh. I think we're just gonna have to be okay with that. Next turn. Okay, that might get awkward. Might need to shift this line to the left. If they're just going to leave, what do we do? Swing left towards that, I suppose. No need to chase that if we can't catch it. Which we absolutely could not do. Set up a flank. Yeah, let's see really no way to catch them. We can at least harass them on the way out. But this is going to shift over to enclosures. That just means that we need to... Can we put pressure on? It's not that much archery, is it? In we go. He doesn't cover properly, we might be able to catch a unit of infantry. Great. Shift some coming tenses over. Might get trampled by the cataphracts, but that's okay. Uh, go for a charge. Disruption. Good. And what? Do we turn these to face, or keep pushing relentlessly forward? Let's see, Klebanari, turn back around. There we go. And otherwise, we're going to push. This is a bit dodgy given that there's general dub cataphracts there, but that's what we're going to do. Push up a bit here. It's because if he stays in the rough, the auxilia palatina can do just fine. And it's very difficult because of the spread. I'm overcommitted here. I'm undercommitted here. It's very awkward. I might suffer for it. Next turn. Okay, finally, we have a move into contact. Uh, now that it is advantageous to him, of course. It's kind of a, a weird situation where, because of the scoring system of these official tournaments, um, you know, if, if you don't do any damage, you score a zero, just like you lost and got crushed. So if one person decides to play cautious, it really is on the other person to push anyway. So that's why I find myself attacking in both matches.
Why don't we try to cover that? Take a risk. Good. Straighten out. Back off a bit. And who do we want to try to disrupt? Good. So if they pursue, we might get a counter charge, but this is very tough over here. It's not, not looking pretty. Uh, cataphracts, huh? We might want to hide in the rough ground from the cataphracts. Could also offer up Limitane as a sacrificial lamb. Get one shot off, why not? And let's pursue. And this unit can start pushing that way. Too bad. All right. Driven off map. Hopefully we'll return soon. Lovely. Um, let's shove them off. Just hoping to get further than that. That's better. Um, yeah, let's just murder these dudes. Push on. And Oxelia can also push into that rough circle you around. Follow it up. The lights can dig the masked archers out of the enclosure. In fact, we can bring our own archers up as well. Finish killing these guys, please. Nope, it'll have to wait. How are we here? Down how many? 38? No thank you. Even for now, I'm going to hold off on the charge so that our auxilia can come through, right? Eh, that's fine. Get in there now. Good. Then, no. Okay, they might evade because of the presence of the cataphracts. And then the question is, do I do this or that? Hmm. 
Hmm. They evade. We could end up somewhere rather bad. Consider that in the meantime. 19 plus. Come on, we need to get a check on them at least. Held firm, okay. Well, we're gonna lose this left flank, so we need to win elsewhere. They could charge, then we could set up a flank. Uh huh. Shove them off instead, or just get shot to death. I guess we'll still get shot to death. Damn, this unit's probably screwed. Or we'll abandon the archers or the light artillery to their fate. You know what? Rally these up and let the Roman cavalry just get pushed off. And we're gonna have to accept losing some units here, but hopefully we can make progress on this front to make up for it. Gabriel says that was not nice at all, but the rest of them are gonna get away, so you know not the end of the world. That's going to be a little ugly. Do you have quality here? Okay. It's fine. Long range. I don't really care. Less. Unless it's enough. Oof. They're close to auto break. Goodbye to the artillery and the cavalry. So speaking of not very nice at all. Yeah, and I know that I got kind of suckered into this, but I really didn't have a choice. I mean, I had to engage, or else I would have eventually scored zero, and then gotten screwed in the tournament. So I had to play over-aggressive here, and hopefully make up for it elsewhere, by at least be able to force engagement along the whole line. Uh, we'll see about that. Good. So let's see here, why don't we try to frag this unit? Good. And you'd probably be of more use elsewhere. Huh. Lock them in, perhaps, and then... Hmm. This is back, so I'll just disperse, and now I can move cataphracts into a flanking position. So we might need them to suicide charge. Okay. Alright, turn and face the enemy. They're still sitting here, doomed. There, shift over. And... What can the Limitane do that is even remotely useful? We could actually... Hmm, who's your commander? There, huh? We pile in there, it's still terrible. But then maybe we could get the second unit in as well. Oh, nice. Alright, let's try to follow up on that. And this is not the best. Lock them in. Okay, turn and turn. Great. Why don't we uh, get into the enclosure at least, push the archers. This is safe from cavalry, nothing we can do, but 
on the other hand. We can start putting pressure on with our lights. While, let's see, it's a strip of open ground there. So why don't we start getting ready to shift through and try to get behind and otherwise ignore this bunch. Bring up our own archers. Good. Start putting pressure on the heavy foot. Okay, so we'll leave Roman cavalry and veteran Roman cavalry to kind of stay and harass cataphracts and push through. Or at least threaten to. And then the question is, do we engage here? I think probably not, because he'll need to charge us to get the automatic drop. That'll give us another 100 POA to work with, so let's give it a bit of time. Next turn, let's see if we auto-break here and if we can capitalize on the situation. This is, uh, yeah, it's not the best. I'm fine with that, actually. I'm not fine with that, damn. They disrupted us while we were steady and generaled up, and they were disrupted. Most unfortunate. Well, if we, let's see. Interesting, okay. Well, yeah, that should work. Then we can start putting pressure on this unit. firm. Too bad. Get that going. Keep them locked in for now. Or better yet. There. Set up the flank. Just gotta hold these guys here. Um... Okay. Okay. That's gonna suck. Well, pile in. Uh huh. We charge here. We might actually catch them, which could be dangerous. No, but we have opened ourselves up to rear charges. I don't know that I can do anything about that, though. Maybe I accept the loss of this unit in exchange for taking that unit out quickly. Hard to say. Held firm. Get out of here. Okay. Right. What were you going to do? I move here, can they do something useful? Not really. Hmm. Pile in. Uh, very awkward. Alternately, could accept that this unit is done for. I will get shot at. Damn it, there is just too much going on here. Way too much. I'm just gonna go for it. There's 
a lot of pressure coming on, and I just can't prevent all the bad things. I'm just going to have to accept that that's going to happen. Might get that flank now. I was going to get flanked no matter what, really, is the answer. So I just have to try and recover as best I can. Next turn. Oh, oh no. That is going to cost us in the center then. The auto break? Soon. Wing is going to go soon. It helps a little bit. Let's zone of control this unit and let's see here. Keep shooting. and true quality means we are in for a bad time there. We can no longer flank here, so instead we will flank here. Good. Let's see, fight this melee first. That's not a surprise. Probably going to lead to a flank. Damn, I should have moved up first. Damn, that was a mistake. Mistakes were made. Maybe we could offer a juicy Limitane flank and they'll go for that instead, but don't think it's terribly likely. Do that. Just gonna pour in the fire and just get ready to auto break this unit. Don't really have time to waste here. Good. Now charge these archers before they can get into the enclosure. We'll auto break here ourselves. Soon, but not yet, it seems. We'll get ready for another flank. Uh, you're completely screwed. Okay, yeah, this is about to get extremely ugly all over the line. Next turn, the bad things continue. I'm surprised we held out there. Ooh, well. They are raw. <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, that's something. Good, we got that before the pursuit charge could hurtle into us. An auto break? Uh, he freed up the zone of control. Then... Oh man. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad.
Well, how is that? Interesting. Set up the flank. Note that. Circle through. We'll send these slingers to deal with the light archers. That's our one path through open ground. Do they bounce off of us? Good. Let's actually push up now so that if they charge, we might be able to uh, flank them. We'll see about that. Alright, I want to break so that the enemy goes that way, maybe? No. Nope. Alright. So, I mean, I'll probably get into this at the post-match explanation, but Grillo pulled back here, making me take all the risks, as he knew that in terms of the tournament meta, I was playing to, you know, at least try my best to get to the top spot. And thus, I could not afford a draw, which meant that I had to follow him. I had to engage in force battle, because if you draw out 0-0, zero, zero, that's as if you got crushed in terms of score, because then you scored zero. So, uh, you know, he pulled back defensively here. Here I managed to actually catch him out during the maneuvering, uh, but he also forced me to stretch my line very thin here with some questionable quality troops. Um, and now, you know, he's turned around to take advantage of both situations, which he has engineered quite nicely. Next turn. Rally on the Cataphracts. Hopefully we just stay in the melee for one turn so we can set up a flank. If not, we'll have to come up with more creative solutions. Good. Anything? No. And hold firm on the fallback. We did keep them stuck in there, so that's not bad. Alright, you set up a flank here, so we're extra doomed. However... we make a sacrifice, we can do some cheesy shit. Uh, so, we do that. Then, we charge. Not very pretty. Then, we get that drop. Did sacrifice the Light horse there, but that was maybe inevitable. And then we, oop, oh well, then we make room for this unit to fall back if it doesn't go well. It's a shame that they're getting flanked, although they're probably doomed anyway. Uh, shove them off, or if they stand, no, damn. Well, push them, then charge, push. Turn, we'll flank. Might need another unit to pile in there, to be honest. Um, let's get out here. Let's see. You. Sure, send your greetings. You might need to pile in and join the fun. 
engage these archers and push forward. Uh, also start circling. So this is good. This is bad. This is kind of a wash. Mostly bad, I suppose. Next turn. <laughs> All right, setting up a flank on my flank. That's right. We survive for a little longer. And there's that flank. We knew that was coming. They might charge us and break us now. Oh, bounced it. Okay. Well. Why don't you just stop, though? Shove them off. <laughs> yes, and they're pinned against the fleeing archers. We'll get another good melee in them. And it's not going to break them or anything like that, but it should be nice. Huh. Form a line here, maybe. They're pile in. I want these guys dead. That's what it's gonna take. Good. We'll have to auto break them, it seems. Can I not? No. Well, you're super dead now, too. Unless, if we charge here, will they stand? Because their archers are flee because the Palatina are nearby. Hmm. That works for me. Okay. That buys us. Not very much, but sometime we can face this way, and if we break and run, break, break and run, which way do we go? Not actually pleased with that hold, to be honest. Well, no. Alright, well you're probably screwed too. Okay. Next turn. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> they rallied up from Disrupted after getting flanked and holding at Disrupted twice. Okay, that could be unpleasant. He set up a flank and I can't prevent it. And now we're gonna get flanked. Damn, yeah, the whole the whole left is dead now. Alright, he knows that he can probably beat this unit. Alright, cataphracts coming in. Very tough situation. Yep.
Okay, so here... Damn. Yeah, they're dead. So we need to just abandon these guys to their fate, basically. And... Concentrate on fighting the battle elsewhere. Like here! Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, shove them off again. You need to hold out. Push forward. Huh. Advance against these archers. Get some missile fire in. Good. My god, they're finally dead. Okay, so... Unfortunately... These guys are probably still capable of crushing us in the open, at least. Let's get out of the charge arc for one turn, but that's not going to help us for long. Next turn. Uh huh. There it is. For Christ's sake. Damn, I was really hoping for a rally of some kind. Here, let's shove you off. Then we can charge. Shove them off as well. Good. And forward. Better yet. Good, now they can't withdraw at all. Keep that up. Push forward. Accept your fate. Goodbye. Oh, god damn it. It's like ever bringing so many raw units. Uh, go for the freak general kill. Great job. Well, hopefully they stay busy pursuing for a while. Okay, so what do we got? We're going to break one, two, three, probably four. Is that enough? Who knows? Next turn. Hmm, that's too bad. Yeah. Good. Yeah, set up the flank, charge, etc., etc. Another unit that we'll lose then. Good. 
I'm not gonna charge them because I don't want to risk their evading. So just uh, you know, do that. Great. And what? Do not permit a flank charge. Turn around. We're super dead. So we'll need infantry over there. Yeah, even without the flank, this unit will be done. So we're going to lose two more units off the bat. It's getting extremely risky. Good. Held firm. Get out of here. Excellent. Get into this rough ground. Oh, it's going to be very close. Gribble says, I think that you win next turn. That was a nice battle. It was a good plan, I think, but my execution was poor. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't feel like his execution was poor. But let's see what he's talking about. Rally on Sassanid Heavy Foot. So how am I supposed to be winning this now? Is he sure that he's not the one winning next turn? Oh, I got a rally. That's what I needed. Now perhaps I can survive. Okay, um, hmm. Ah, come on. Oh, is that how we do it? <laughs> It'd be a pretty ridiculous way to win a match. Uh, push forward. We know. Get out of there. Fight the Klebanophoroi or zone them in. Turn our artillery. Get ready to push archers into the rough. Love to hunt these. They're so close to breaking, but no way to do it. Armored horse archers, huh? Who else? Light cavalry, sonnet heavy foot. Maybe we can try. Maybe we can try. Okay, if he doesn't rally it more, that's a win, but it's possible that he will. Okay. <laughs> he rallied to 60. Well, this is not really going to get me a great tournament score. So. Uh, like I said, tournament meta played a big part of this game. Initially, Gribble drew back here and back here so that I had the not great terrain to face here. If it were a league match and my opponent had done that, I would have just been like, um, you know, that's cool, dude, but I'm just going to sit here and here. And we can stare at each other for a while. And eventually, we're either going to draw or we're going to come out. But the way the scoring works in these other tournaments, um, it really, really punishes draws. So Kribo knew that I wanted to try to get to the top spot if I could. That's not going to happen with a score like this, to be clear. Uh, so he withdrew here knowing that I would feel forced to follow to have a battle. And I did. And then he turned around at just the right time and completely obliterated my left wing. Should I have not followed? Maybe. Maybe I should have held back here anyway and kept following here. Hard to say. Uh, but I, I felt compelled to move to engage. With hindsight, maybe I should have kept up the movement here and just held the line here and seen what happened. The downside with that was that it would have meant he could have shifted the units from here 
to this side more easily, and then I would have been staring at unfavorable terrain that was better defended. So, yeah, uh, he had a good plan that was well suited to the kind of tournament that we're playing in. And as a result, I'm definitely not a contender for the top spot because this is going to be pretty low scoring for me. So a good game to Gribble, as always. And until next time.